I always say, what's good for Solana is also good for Kin. As you can see on Solana's website, they are promoting creatures, which are NFTs collectibles built on Solana. So you can create your own NFTs in the theme of creatures. And not only that, they also plan on allowing the characters you create and play them in future video games. Imagine this, you have kids playing a game created by one of the Kin developers and you can create your own character and turn it into an NFT and have the option to sell it and make money. Once the kids create their own NFTs, they can upload to a NFT marketplace like Selectify. Selectify is a creator-centric NFT marketplace where users on the platform can easily create, trade, and sell non-fungible tokens, NFTs. The children are our future. It's amazing how Kin plans to expand for the next generation. Remember this viral video when this teenager's dad got mad because his son kept playing games and didn't want to get a job? Please! This cost me like hundreds of dollars! It's an expensive I don't problem. care! I don't care! You gotta get a job! <laughs> Well soon, kids won't have to tell their parents to get a real job because some of them will make more money than their parents selling NFTs and earning kin tokens by playing the games. If this, David After Dentist NFT can sell for 13,500 bucks and this teenager making over 2.16 million, it's a no brainer. Here's a developer of Kin's Creatures sharing his vision. Creatures is a crypto collectible RPG. Um, so you can think about uh, uh, CryptoKitties, uh, the, the collectible aspect of something like that, that project, and Ethermon and whatnot, um, for, for those players that want um, that experience. So right now, um, when we're playing games, when we actually have time, we, we spend a lot of time in our favorite games over time, but it kind of, the experience starts and stops in that game like i've played thousands of hours of civilization um but the experience of playing that game really starts when i turn it on and it stops when i turn it off um and that investment just stays in game and what i'd like to to do is um provide an opportunity where you know if you make an investment in your creature you're spending time with them um it is an nft so you're going to have that in your wallet and you can take that and the hopefully not so long-term goal is um, any other app can, can take that NFT, can take you level leveled up your creature, maybe you've gotten some equipment or whatnot, and integrate that in their game um, so that you can continue the experience um, outside of this, you know, one game that, that I'm making. Um, I don't want to monopolize that uh, uh, that experience and that bond with your creature. Take take them out somewhere else and, and play with them there and, and experience it there. So really, it's a crypto collectible RPG, um, and uh, you know, hopefully. Uh, hopefully I'll make something fun for more than just myself. So look at this. Recently Solana stated the results of their recent hackathon. The hackathon is a global contest for app developers to be selected as winners. As you can see behind the scenes, there is a global hunger for app developers to get an opportunity to get noticed in the crypto market. And especially since Kin is one of the main application partners with Solana. What's good for Solana? It's also good for Kin. See, lots of app developers will spill over to work on Kin apps. The Kin team was very smart for choosing to partner with Solana. So the next time someone asks you, what is Kin? Tell them that they are one of 14 main app developers for Solana, which is one of the fastest blockchains out there faster than Ethereum. Kin is aggressively ramping up more and more apps that incorporates DeFi and NFTs. They rely on the app development community to help increase innovative ideas on how to use kin as a real world use case this is why you should invest in kin now you invest before there is real mass adoption the proof of why i'm saying that kin is aggressive in building apps with DeFi and nfts here is the guidelines that they present to the developers who are interested in building apps for them we will award projects that integrate kin including web3 DeFi or NFT in a way that creates a compelling kin based economy within the app based on earning and spending kin in creative ways. Projects will be awarded based on originality, usefulness, and potential impact. Entrants are encouraged to be creative but can also fork open source projects they feel would benefit kin. 
Ken already built a community with the Kick Messenger app. Before the lawsuit with the SEC, Kick was in the top seven just after Skype, which at one point had over 17 million users. Now that's a huge community, so imagine what Ken can do once they get ready to market their apps. They have not started marketing yet since they are focusing on building their app development team. But if they were successful before with Kick, then I have a strong confidence that Kin will be used once more and more users use their Kin apps after they start marketing them. Get in on Kin before it's too late. Click on the link below to join our Telegram to get the latest tips and updates. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks a lot, y'all.